Understanding Come to Trial, a guide for English learners. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into a phrase that's often heard in legal dramas but can sometimes cause confusion, come to trial. We'll break it down and help you understand its usage and context in the English language. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery behind this legal term. Come to trial refers to the process where a legal case is heard before a judge or a jury in a court of law. It's the point in legal proceedings where the facts are reviewed, evidence is presented, and a verdict is reached. It's important to note that not all cases come to trial. Some are settled outside of court or dismissed altogether. The phrase encapsulates the final stage of a long legal process which includes filing of charges or a lawsuit, pre-trial hearings and motions, plea bargaining in criminal cases, discovery, where both sides exchange information. When a case comes to trial, it means that these steps have been completed and the matter is ready to be decided by a judge or jury. While the phrase is predominantly legal, it can be used metaphorically in everyday language to imply that a matter will be examined or judged thoroughly. For instance, one might say, the new policy will come to trial when it's presented to the board. Use it in formal contexts. The phrase is formal and is best used in legal or serious discussions. Keep the context clear, make sure it's evident that you're discussing a legal matter or using the phrase metaphorically. Don't confuse it with trial and error, that's a completely different expression related to testing and experimenting. I hope this video has shed light on what it means for a case to come to trial and how you can use this phrase accurately in English. Remember, learning a language is like unraveling a mystery, and every phrase you learn adds to your linguistic detective toolkit. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.